I've always been attracted to the idea of helping a community, healing people. Um, I'm the daughter of a psychologist, and so helping people was always in my blood. So I became a doctor because I combined my passion for both science and teaching. Originally, I wanted to be a teacher, but growing up, I realized that there was a large need for physicians in my community, which is a Latino community. And I realized that um, teaching and science created a combination of a physician, and that cultivated my passion for becoming a physician. Scripps Mercy is a phenomenal place to train. The hospital cares for a whole range of patients of all diverse backgrounds and the underserved. Our residents enjoy working with each other and care for each other. Our faculty loves to teach and the residents develop strong positive relationships with the faculty. As a resident, you are involved in every aspect of the hospital. You're taking care of patients in the emergency department, ICU, labor and delivery, all of our medical and surgical care. And you really become a part of a small community hospital. As a resident, you'll be able to take care of patients throughout the life cycle. You'll see your prenatal patients, your newborns, your adolescent patients, right on up to your 80 and 90 year olds. I think this gives you just such a broad foundation in the full spectrum of family medicine. So I chose Scripps for my GME because of its location here in San Diego, and particularly the South Bay, with its close proximity to the San Diego-Mexico border. And that has a population that I've always wanted to serve, which is the medically underserved, the Latino underserved communities. This program really stood out to me in terms of the faculty, the residents, the work that we do in this community. Our mission statement is really to serve the community here, um, as well as Baja California, you know, the, all the binational work that we do. And it's evident. You can see it when you talk to us. You can see it with our curriculum, with our location. And to me, I wanted to be somewhere that really lived and breathed its mission statement. The qualities that we look for in medical students who are applying to our residency program go beyond the academic credentials and include a passion for community medicine and care of the underserved. The exciting part of our program is that it opens doors to explore your own personal journey and find your passions. It might be in addiction medicine, might be in adolescent health, it might be OB. We really provide a platform for you to explore your journey. One of the highlights of the program is the blend of inpatient as well as outpatient experiences. On the inpatient side, our family medicine residents care for patients 24-7 in the hospital. They're caring for adult patients, surgical patients. They're taking care of patients on labor and delivery and newborns. A really robust family medicine inpatient experience. Our residency program has a very close relationship with both of our elementary and our high school school districts locally. We run three school-based clinics where residents have an opportunity to be on campus working closely with students as they are released from their class to come to the clinic and talk about some of the mental, emotional, physical health issues that face adolescents in these days. In addition, we work on policy systems and environmental changes that really help to reduce obesity in our community in the elementary schools. Not only are residents learning about the community resources available in the area, they're developing tools to work with community agencies and members to recognize needs in the community, strengths, and to work together to address health disparities, social determinants of health, to make the whole community stronger. We embed community medicine experiences throughout the curriculum. So whether you're doing a pediatrics rotation, a geriatrics rotation, women's health, you're going to be having experiences that connect you with the community. When I see how involved the residents are in the community, when I see how involved the faculty are, when I see how dynamic, what an incredible group dynamic it is, um, you just feel it. You feel Scripps Chula Vista Family Medicine. You just feel the vibe here and you just know that this is a place where you want to be trained. A typical day um, as a family medicine resident in our program will depend a bit on whether you are on inpatient rotation or an outpatient clinic rotation. 
On the inpatient service, your typical day will start with sign out from your night team. You'll hear about the new patients, you'll pre-round on those patients, and then gather with your attending for teaching rounds. Um, we're very proud of our Back to Bedside initiative, which uh, encourages uh, patient-centered rounds at the bedside, where you hear about the hospital experience from the patient's perspective. Your day might continue on to have a family meeting that includes um, social work, sometimes our palliative care team, depending on what the issues are. Um, you might then get a call from the emergency department and end up um, going down for a new admission. Um, your day will round up around 5, 6 p.m. and you'll do a sign out to your night team. And as I said, you're covering those patients 24 seven. You are the ones responsible for the patients. Every day is so different and that's really what creates an enriching experience where one day you might be in the hospital, another day you might be in the clinic, another day you might even be in an elementary school or high school um, giving some outreach events with our students. And I think that's what truly embraces the full spectrum aspect of family medicine, but more so here at our program in Scripps Chula Vista. We embrace that border location, the diversity that that brings, and we really see our communities extending beyond the border. It's a very fluid border. Many of our patients are binational, many of the staff that we work with are binational, and that's part of our um, identity. Our residency program has maintained a very close relationship for over 15 years in Tijuana with a medical partnership. It provides opportunity for our residents to work closely with residents and medical students in Tijuana and get to know a little bit more about the healthcare system in Tijuana, the, pri the pharmacies, the primary care access, the hospitals. So working here very, very close to the U.S.-Mexico border, it innately allows us to serve with true humility and blessing the medically underserved community, particularly the Latino medically underserved. It being a large proportion Spanish speaking, and I've been very fortunate to speak Spanish, and that has always been the population I've wanted to serve. So having this community embedded within our program, or more so our program within this community, just creates an, an opportunity that I've always wanted, and that is to be trained in a community serving medically underserved, so that when I graduate, I can then become that physician that I've always grown up wanting to be that serves people like my parents, my neighbors, and I've been truly blessed. Besides the technical and the science part, I have just learned what it truly means to be a well-rounded physician in our community, going beyond the clinic and being a physician and community advocate. I've learned how to be more organized, more self-reliant, but also with humility, being able to help and um, ask for help from others. I think that getting to this point, I have never, I would not have been able to do it alone. It all was through mentors. And I learned that that continues at every aspect of our training and being comfortable seeking for help and building a community of mentors. I have learned that if I'm surrounded by the right people, if I'm surrounded by the right experience, if I'm surrounded by the right environment, that I can be a version of a doctor that I only hoped I could be. But to have an incredible support system, to have really the foundation of this residency holding you up and supporting you and saying, I see you in your struggles. I hear you with what you're going through and this is how I'm gonna support you. That makes all the difference and it really supports us in our wellness and how we um, grow and thrive as physicians because residency is not just about the medicine. It's also how are we going to be physicians. When I see my faculty, I see this is the kind of physician I wanna be. When I see my program director, Dr. McKennett, and her love and her heart and how much she's dedicated her soul to this community, to this hospital, to this program, that's the kind of physician I wanna be. So to be able to have such a clear pathway of this is why I care about the community and these are people that support the community with me, it's, it's just, it's incredible. It's absolutely incredible. Scripps Mercy has been characterized by both the Joint Commission and the Accreditation Council on Graduate Medical Education as a hospital with heart. That's really true. Everybody here really cares for each other. The doctors, the residents, the nurses, administration, and everyone really cares for our patients. So it's really not just a job, it's a calling. 
Scripps Mercy is really the hospital with heart. When I walk through there and I see residents speaking with nurses, spending time in the cafeteria, laughing with the cafeteria staff, talking to the personnel that are taking care of the cleanliness and the environment, it's really beautiful to see when you walk through the hospital that you're part of a larger family. The nurses, the consultants, the specialists, they really treat the residents with respect and vice versa. I, I truly believe that Scripps is a hospital with heart because both here at Scripps and in our clinics, our community, there's this close-knit is what I truly embrace. This family feeling where the faculty, our staff, our colleagues, it truly is a small family away from my own family. And that just creates this um, environment of comfort, of trust, and of hard work. And so it's really lovely to be a part of a residency program that's teaching us not only about medicine, not only about patient care, not only about how to be good residents and you know how to learn all these things, but is teaching us how do we serve our community? How do we serve the patients in their communities that they're coming from? How do we meet the patients where we're at? And I feel like this hospital, um, through its history, through its dedication, I think it really provides us with an environment to learn from, to become the kind of doctor that I want to be. Um, and so I think you really do feel here that we care about our patients. We, um, you know, we have an amazing team at this hospital. It's not just the doctors, it's not just the nurses. We have, you know, incredible social workers, you know, case managers. It's, it's, an, it's a team effort and um, it's built into the system of this hospital. And I wouldn't want it any other way. Scripps Mercy prepares residents to go into the world and practice and teach and continue to do research and enjoy uh, positions of great prestige, including department chairs and uh, chiefs of medical staffs and be real leaders in their communities. Over the years, we find our, that our resident graduates go on to be leaders in medicine. In fact, the CMO of San Isidro Health Dr. Maria Carriero Ceniceros is a graduate of our second class. There are other community health center directors that are graduates of our program. We have several program directors that were graduates of our program. And I just love the fact that the residents are leaving here with that ability to um, be leaders and influence the way family medicine is taught and practiced in other settings. So having a program and living here in San Diego have over the past three years been exceptional. It's that diversity in its geography, in the activities, the food, and one day you could be working and after work go to the beach. One day or one weekend on your day off you can go take a hike and the beautiful scenery. And you will never get tired in the diversity of food, the cuisine, the community, the culture. It's just been a wonderful place to live in and I would love to continue living here. San Diego is such a unique place to to live. I mean, you just can't beat it. You have beaches that are so close by, of course. You have the mountains that are just, you know, a short drive away. You've got national forests. There's hiking and trails. Um, there's delicious food here. Oh my gosh, I cannot tell you. It's been so much fun to just try out all the new restaurants. One of the biggest surprises throughout these past three years in our program is what has impacted worldwide is the COVID pandemic. And that has really allowed me to step back and realize how despite this global challenge, our program has been able to work together through colleagues, through institutional changes to really work hard and not letting it um, interfere with our training and that we are um, very resilient. I think that's a very important trait that I have learned both in a personal basis, but also as a program that we continue to push together and through effort and teamwork, it's really possible. My biggest surprise in residency has been how quickly and deeply I just fell in love with my co-interns and really the, the whole resident class. I've never connected so deeply and so strongly with, with a cohort before. Um, we understand each other, we support and respect each other. And when you have people who are coming here, who share your beliefs, who share your values, and who want to change the world in the same way you want to, 
it's amazing. I've never, I've never been surrounded by such incredible, motivating, inspiring people. There have been countless memorable moments uh, throughout my residency. And the ones that truly stick out kind of relate back to my passion of women's health and obstetrics. Again, the full spectrum of family medicine. And that is being able to participate in what we call centering group medical visits, centering pregnancy, where we follow moms throughout their pregnancy and we are there for their deliveries. And even more, we follow them and their children throughout their um, infancy. So I've been able to be part of four groups and have been there at several deliveries, over 20, and have seen these children in my clinic grow up now being two, over two years old. And it truly brings that blessing and essence of what family medicine is and definitely memorable moments. You will get the training you aspire to get. The community, the patients have been exactly what I envisioned. And I just say follow your heart and that intuition because once you realize where you find yourself feeling at home is where you truly belong. And I feel that here I've, I've found that momentum and I'm, I'm gaining that momentum and that this momentum is gonna, you know, lead me in my trajectory, um, you know, even after residency and beyond. This is a family that I'm a part of and um, I'm just gonna keep growing in this family. And it, that's what makes it so special. I, it's such a unique, incredible feeling here. As you leave residency training, I want to see family physicians that are prepared for the full spectrum of family medicine care, have a passion for the community, and leave as leaders in family medicine and community medicine. As I look at my own 30-year career as a family physician and educator, the most fulfilling part of my career has been the opportunity to develop this family medicine residency tra training program and see it grow and see the amazing students that have chosen to train here and see where residents have gone beyond this program and it's really been a joy and I think if you take the chance to come and train with us you'll experience uh, that as well. In the course of my uh, 47 years in medicine I've experienced the joy of taking care of patients, of continuing to learn, of doing research and of teaching. I hope as my graduates go into the world, they experience all of that same joy, learning how to grow professionally and learning how to provide excellent care for their own patients.